This microscopic problem has triggered significant challenges for airlines worldwide, potentially causing disruptions for years to come for both Airbus and Embraer carriers around the world. In September 2023, the stock price of Pratt & Whitney's parent company, RTX, fell to a two-year low following the announcement that their popular turbofan engines were susceptible to cracks. But this was to be the start of a lengthy process that could end up costing Pratt & Whitney billions and potentially ground hundreds of aircraft whilst in-depth inspections are carried out. So who are Pratt & Whitney? Well, they're one of the largest manufacturers of jet engines today. The company dates back to as early as 1925 and has seen success with iconic engines fitted to aircraft such as the B-52, Stratofortress and the F-100 Super Sabre. More recently, they've pushed the boundaries of engine design by creating the 1000G series, a geared turbofan engine family which significantly improves fuel efficiency, reduces emissions and has a low noise profile, apart from this bit. Well, that sounds great, so don't touch it. The 1000G series are their flagship engines and they can be found on airliners such as the Airbus A220, the A320neo and the Embraer E2 where you'll see them powering fleets such as KLM, Spirit, Lufthansa, Air France, Air Transat to name a few. However, the troubles with the turbofans started in July 2023 when Pratt & Whitney identified an issue in the production process of their 1100G engines, responsible for powering approximately 40% of the Airbus A320neo aircraft in service. This was linked to the powdered nickel used to make some of their engine components containing microscopic contaminants that if left unresolved could lead to the components breaking. This material was used to make parts such as the engine's high pressure turbine discs which have the potential to cause catastrophic engine damage if they fail. Due to the risks involved, hundreds of effective engines are set to be grounded over the next three years whilst they're inspected and repaired where required. Even the military have taken precautions as some of the same methods are used in the production of parts in the F-35 and F-135 fighters. However, RTX have publicly stated that they don't see these issues extending past the commercial fleet. As the aviation industry bounces back from the COVID pandemic, lack of aircraft is something airlines really don't want to be dealing with. Airlines such as Wizz Air have stated that they expect the check to reduce its capacity by 10% for the second half of the 2024 financial year. Whilst KLM City Hopper have had to alter their flight schedule and they've kept hold of some leased E190s due to go back just to meet current capacity. We've also seen Transavia operating flights to Manchester on behalf of KLM, suspected to be picking up some of the slack due to the lack of E2s. Over in the States, companies such as Spirit and JetBlue have also received deliveries with affected engines. And as they don't have in-house repair systems, they're totally reliant on already overwhelmed external service companies. This follows Swiss grounding its full fleet of 29 A220s in 2019 due to Pratt & Whitney engine trouble. Swiss were the launch company of the A220, so this really was not a good look for Pratt & Whitney. This embarrassment probably extends out to Airbus too, as unlike the A320 family, companies only have one engine choice on the A220 at this time, and that's the Pratt & Whitney. Leases are also struggling to keep up with demand due to the high rise in single aisle aircraft requests, reportedly pushing the price of monthly rates of the A320 CEO up to ten dollars to $15,000 above normal prices. So what does this mean for Pratt & Whitney? Well, at the moment, they're reporting it can take up to 300 days for each engine to be inspected, which is a huge hit to the airlines. Considering this issue extends to both the A220 and E2 jets, costs of between seven to $10 billion are currently being forecast, and this is before any compensation for fleet disruption. They've also had to extend their servicing capacity to enable them to meet the 300 day turnaround, which will significantly affect financials past 2025. Intervals between engine inspections has also been reduced, meaning more servicing and more strain on the facilities carrying out the works, which may increase delays elsewhere in the pipeline. At the moment, it's not fully understood how many Pratt & Whitney engines are affected, as well as just how costly this will be for the airlines, the engine manufacturer, and of course, the passengers. 
but we love the Pratt & Whitney engines and from a plane spotter's perspective they sound awesome. So hopefully we'll keep hearing those Wookiees howl for years to come.